Hey guys, it's Jen here from Gen G Photography. I wanted to quickly go over how to place uh, my glitter overlays. So I have glitter overlays over at Ashbury Designs on Etsy. Um, you can use this tutorial though for many different um, overlays as well as just placing things into Photoshop. So it might be handy for a lot of different things. My glitter overlays are JPEG format and they're shot on a black backdrop. So I recommend using these overlays on darker backdrops. I will show you what they look like on lighter backdrops, um, but my suggestion is to use them on darker. If you think about it, like if you had real life glitter and you were um, trying to photograph it, it wouldn't be as visible um, on a white backdrop as it would a darker one. So. Uh, just keep that in mind when you're trying to use them. Um, I do include a number of different uh, types or different images in my package um, and some of them do work okay with lighter images so I'll show you that later on. But basically um, how to place an overlay um, is very simple. So you'll just go, you'll open your image, you'll have your background layer selected, uh, file, place, and then here I have um, all of my glitter overlays that come in the pack. Uh, they come as a zip file and then you just extract them and this is what you're left with. So you'll see some of them, like this one here, has larger, more bokeh um, look. Uh, this one's really nice. It's got the bokeh with different tones like golds and silvers. Um, and then some of them are much smaller and finer, like actual glitter that you can um, see in the photos. So um, here I'm going to start with this bokeh one. I do like to overlap them usually um, just to see what kind of effect that I get as well as um, if I want extra, extra sparkle. Um, so what I just did is I just turned it around because I thought the glitter looked like it was more heavy uh, this way and I want like the most to be at top at the top so it looks like it's falling down. Um, I can also resize this so if I wanted the dots to be really big or I wanted to see the shape of the stars more um, I could resize it. Because they're like a bokeh and, and you're going to change the blending mode, it doesn't really matter if they're in focus. Um, although like once I select the transformation, they do like go a lot more sharper as well. So once I've, once I have it placed, um, I'm going to go to the layer and I'm just going to change the blending mode. Um, you can try, I find that the, this group here um, are the best to use. Screen is usually what I do. Uh, it's my go-to for all of them. It works well. Um, Lighten hides a lot of the little details. So if you don't like too much, then Lighten might be for you. Uh, as well as Linear Dodge um, looks pretty good with some of them. So I'm going to switch it back to screen because I liked that. And then I'm going to add a layer mask and with a black brush, I'm just going to brush off her face. I just didn't want it right there. Um, and to me, this looks good. I don't need to do anything else to it. I might just lower the opacity a bit, uh, I think right there. Um, but I'll show you what happens if you just add another one. So file, place, embedded. And then uh, let's add one with like lots of glitter. Um, again, so this is coming from the right side. And I feel like because she's turned the other way, it might be better to have it come from the other way. So I'm just going to right click, flip horizontal. And then my image is placed and I'm going to put it on screen again. And then, so here it looks more real, like it looks like real glitter. 
Um, but I'm still going to turn the opacity down just because I don't want it like too strong. I can add a layer mask and then I can remove like whatever I want. So say if I'm like, oh, okay, um, this is a bit too strong here. So I wanted to take off that bit or whatever. Um, you can take it off as much as you need. Personally, um, I feel like that extra layer was not needed and just the one overlay is perfect for this image. Um, okay, so I did want to show you just some that I've placed here um, on a white backdrop. So here um, I placed a couple and I just, um, with a black mask, I just painted it white around the wreath so that I could have it look like the wreath is lighting up. Um, I'll show you what happens if I try to place like a whole uh, thing with a white backdrop. Like if I try to place it on the whole thing. And actually I probably should have used this one on the wreath because it has like more gold tones. Um, so it might have looked a bit more real. So uh, let's try screen. So screen, you can see it just adds like a little bokeh in the air. Um, you can try linear dodge. So if you wanted it to look like things were um, lit up, then that, that works well for that. Um, it will work for some images. Let's see what's this one. Uh, here's another one where it, it just adds like a little bit of specs and magic to it. Um, it's not what I created the overlays for. I created them for glitter, um, but you don't have to stop there. You can use them for a lot of things. You'll find that with most overlays uh, that are in JPEG format that they will be used mostly for a darker image. Um, let's see. I'll open one here. Sorry, let's see. I'll open, I want an outdoor one, uh, Emma. Okay, so I'll go file place. Let's do this one. And then here you can, um, so here's what it looks like on screen. You can't really notice it. <clears throat> um, but you can play around. So if you did an overlay, it's going to add because it's a black photo, it's going to add a lot of contrast. Uh, you can just like lower the opacity on that. And then, um, add a layer mask and mask off what you need to mask off. So that is um, pretty neat. That's a great way to do that. Um, if you wanna just add something extra to your outdoor photos. So um, yeah, I hope this helps with using the overlays. If you have any question on my, my overlays, you can message me on Etsy. Um, and I'll definitely get back to you and try to assist. Thank you so much, and I hope you all have a great day.